Dear students, you are welcome in the Education Department at Shahid Association. Our lesson today is bullying. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more lessons and don't forget to activate the bell to stay notified. Our objectives are to read the text correctly, to answer WH questions. Omar is a boy. He accidentally running into someone and apologizing. This is a good behavior. While Ali purposefully running into someone to make him fall down. This is bad behavior. Now look at these two boys. What are they doing? Let's read the text. Bullying happens in schools around the world. Bullying takes place at all grades levels, but it is more common in grades 6, 7, and 8 than in, other, in the other grades. Physical bullying takes the form of pushing, shoving, hitting, spitting, and tripping. Sometimes a bully threatens the victims with physical harm to force them to act the way the bully wants. Many times bullies threaten the victim to get money from them. Now, what is bullying and how is it done? Bullying is doing bad things to others, such as hitting, pushing, calling names, or saying bad words. Now, how common is bullying? It is more common in grades 6, 7, and 8 than the other grades. Emotional bullying doesn't involve physical contact, but, that, but can take the form of insults, name-calling, nasty notes, being left out of the group, or being ignored. Emotional bullying can also involve hiding or misplacing the victim's belongings. Emotional bullying can be done also through electronic media such as unpleasant or threatening cell phone messages or emails. This kind of bullying is called cyberbullying. So till now we have three forms of bullying. The physical bullying, emotional bullying, and cyberbullying. Bullying has serious consequences on the victim. A victim of bullying can develop low self-esteem and can have difficulty trusting others. In some cases, a bullying victim can become aggressive and have difficulty controlling anger. Sometimes bullying victims may become bullies themselves. So what consequences can bullying have on the victim? Low self-esteem, difficulty trusting others, can become aggressive and become bullies. The victims may become bullies themselves. Many schools has established anti-bullying programs and many organizations train young people to recognize and tackle bullying. These programs can be very effective as 13 years old Dylan Stewart from Northern, Air Northern Ireland knows firsthand. Dylan was bullied in elementary school and secondary school he hung out with the wrong group of students 
and became, became a bully himself. But then he was asked to go to the anti-bullying program. He said, when I was bullying people, I didn't really know what I was doing. I didn't understand how serious it was. So in this paragraph, the writer tells us that many schools have established anti-bullying programs to stop bullying. Dylan was bullied in the elementary school and secondary school. Then he became a bully himself. He was asked to go to the anti-bullying program. Thanks for watching. If you liked this lesson, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more and don't forget to click the bell to get all the updates.